look at my cup um Nick put it in the dishwasher and some of it has smiley some of it does not we're kind of just rocking with it good morning afternoon night whatever time it is when you are watching this video sorry my curtain is in frame um but hello hi welcome to today's video I'm just gonna do a really laid-back like Sunday Sunday vibe, Sunday vlog. I have to do some laundry and some cleaning and all of that fun stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of take you guys along with it. I have been so bad at YouTube and I've gotten a lot of messages asking like if I can just do YouTube. So here I am. I don't know if you can hear my cat's going absolutely insane in the background. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay brief intermission but we're back they were fighting but I just thought it'd be fun to film a little Sunday day in life vlog type of situation so here we are like I said I have to do some laundry some cleaning all that fun stuff I did go shopping yesterday so I might show you guys some of the things that I bought Ooh, girl do not knock over my shirt but I am just sipping on my sharp as you saw in the last clip I have this every single day it is my favorite product from Bomar and one of my favorite current flavors so super super fun but let's have a good Sunday Okay, you guys, brief intermission to talk about this nut butter. It is the peanut butter and jelly nut butter from Bomar. It has 10 grams of protein, and I'm obsessed with it. It literally tastes like peanut butter and jelly. And on an English muffin, it's probably the what in the heck is going on? The best thing I've ever had for breakfast. I'm actually obsessed with it, and I've been having it for breakfast like. For the past month and a half now and i just i don't see that changing so if you haven't tried it i will put a link down below for you to snag it i promise put it on a toasted english muffin and thank me that's it it's incredible then everything also pro tip if you are tracking your macros like i currently am the easiest way to do this is to zero out your scale and let it go negative um, this is gonna be kind of difficult to do with one hand, but basically set it on there zero it out And then whatever you grab with your um, Knife is going to go negative. So just like that And just like that, negative 30, and that is my serving size. And here are my beautiful English muffins. Are you kidding me? They're literally delicious. I know that you are having trouble believing right. That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. 
Okay, friends. I just took my bun out of my hair, and this is literally like day nine. Day nine hair. I'm not even joking. This is what we're rocking with. Anyways, um, I am going to put away my laundry that I have been pushing off for like three days now. So let's do that. Also. You can probably see my closet in the back of this clip. It is an absolute disaster. I need like them people from like the home edit, I believe it's called, to come and organize my closet. Or if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. I'm awful at organizing this mess and it just stresses me out. So I will give you an overview and hopefully it'll look a little bit better. So to give you guys a rough idea of like what is going on here, this is all like my sports bras and tank tops, like gym clothes, like all of that fun stuff is right here. And then these are like my most worn sweatshirts. These are like my hoarding sweatshirts that I just, I, I'm a hoarder when it comes to sweatshirts. These are like my pump covers, so just big baggy t-shirts that I like to wear to the gym, and then just like random t-shirts. Then I have a cute little romper, some random stuff up there, shorts, leggings, things like that. And then these are more like dressy tops. Um, I need to sell that. I do not like the Lululemon Align tank, so if anyone wants this, message me on Instagram. I think it's a size 8. It just does not do well with my armpit fat. Anyways, this is jean. It's, it's so messy. And yeah, this is just like random sweaters and my shoes. And I'm overwhelmed. Um, Nick and I's like bedroom is a weird setup. Like our bed, I don't even want to show you. Well, I'll show you. We're washing our sheets right now, but our bed is literally facing the closet. So we can't put our dresser like in here because it doesn't allow for that. So it's actually in Nick's um Nick's room where he has like his he has the dresser, he has the um computer so he does his schooling in there and then he has like his xbox in there to play his games when he wants to and then i have like my entire hydro drug shelf which i'll show you guys in this vlog i don't think i've shown you guys i'm so excited um and then um my vanity that i have in there as well so the dresser just doesn't fit in here so we're kind of just making do with this closet and hoping it works somehow maybe but my camera's gonna die so i'm gonna charge that i'm gonna put away this laundry and probably take everything out of this closet and hopefully it looks better when i come back all right friends i'm back oh do i have spaghetti on my face no that's just a pimple okay anyways hi i'm back it has been like what three hours since i've started i obviously have a garbage bag full of things that i'm going to bring to the goodwill and then i have a good chunk of jeans that i'm going to be listing on my mercari i will put the link to that on or in the description down below so definitely click if you are a size six in abercrombie jeans i am not anymore i don't know why worst decision of my life to wait until i was at my absolute lowest literally lowest weight smallest body to buy any new clothes didn't take into consideration weightlifting or just gaining weight in general um and so for the last like year and a half year ish i've been fluctuating above like 10 to 15 pounds from my absolute lowest and so i think this is where my body's happiest i'm not gonna keep smaller jeans that are obviously not serving my body fitting my body and they're just staring at me in my closet so i'm gonna get rid of those gonna get jeans that actually fit me in my body they'll go over my legs but as soon as i get to my butt they're like mm, no girl no so well, let's just chalk that up to growing a juicy dumpy which was the goal the entire time but i'm gonna list those on my mercari i have made some progress as you can see it is kind of empty in here <sighs> i'll give you two okay so what i did was obviously keeping the shoes here this is all like sports bras and workout tops sorry the lighting is horrendous and i just did like white gray black and then like colors these are all like cute tops and sweaters and things like that and then my four pairs of jeans that actually fit me down here are like jackets and things like this guys i found this free people jacket that i have been trying to find forever here i gotta show you like it just deserves an entire like moment for itself look at how cute it is i will link this below if i can it has been sold out online forever and i went in the store for just shits and gigs and i found it and you know i had to snag it so she cute we love her 
And then over here, I just have sweatshirts, which I'm still sorting through. Um, but I have sweatshirts here. I think I'm going to put, like, my most frequently worn sweatshirts right here again. And then I have my pump covers or whatever you want to call them, just, like, basic baggy t-shirt. And then I just have, like, my lifestyle tank tops that I wear, like, with whatever I want. Like, these are from Urban Outfitters, Free People, things like that. Up there is just my gym bag with a bunch of, like, random bands, all that fun stuff. And then I just have, like, my... Um, swimsuit, sports bras, or not sports bras, like actual bras, which we never wear, so they're all the way up there. And then my pajamas, these are like sweatpants and sweatshorts for like bedtime. These are going to be leggings. These are short, shorts in blue and green, and then shorts in orange and pink. I have some air drying outside too that I need to add. Wow, I'm literally out of breath, you guys. This has been <laughs> an experience, but it's been a long time coming and much needed, so... I'm gonna pound out all of these sweatshirts and find a home for them. Do not come for me for still being in my pajamas. <laughs> it is literally, what, like three o'clock now? And I'm still in my jammies. I still have to wash my hair, all that fun stuff, but this closet needed a major makeover. Also, I know I told you I was gonna show you what I got on my shopping trip yesterday, but I put most of it away. Um, we got a, um, Christmas set Nick and I always get matching Christmas pajamas last year we got like the basic red plaid and then this year let me show you this year we just got this little red set I got like these little they're like fuzzy pants with a white top and then Nick got the full like top and bottom like matching set it's just kind of like a trend we started doing I wish they made um some for Zaylee and Zaya I would absolutely buy them pajamas they may not like it but who knows and then and then we got these cute little Christmas sheets, which I'm obsessed with. I will also link them down below. And then I bought a cute little Mary mug from the Magnolia area in Target. I'm obsessed with Magnolia and all the things. So it's just a cute little mug. It says Mary. I will probably show it on my Instagram story with my sharp and all that fun stuff. But super freaking cute. It is now time for Santa Claus to come now that it's Halloween. Okay. I need to put my Christmas tree up like ASAP. So before I forget, I wanted to show you guys my hydro jug shelf. We have spent so long making this thing perfect. I had to take out a couple jugs because I can't show you them yet. But this is what it looks like. I am seriously so freaking obsessed with it. It is absolutely perfect. Um, I am running out of room. So when that does happen, I think we're just gonna move it over and like make like an L out of these shelves but i will link the shelves that i am using um in the description down below if i forget they already are are already linked on my like to know it account but super obsessed i got the stainless steel one down there the other stainless steel i'm actually using right now so that is why it's not there but other than that it is so beautifully coordinated and i'm obsessed i also have all of my sleeves in these two bins i know i have issues they are freaking overflowing but when I love something, I love it a lot, so beautiful. I feel like this goes without saying, but if you don't have a hydro jug and you are interested in grabbing a hydro jug, I have a discount code with them. It's just code Amy. It will save you 10% on anything on hydro jug's website. They have jugs, they have these stainless steel ones, they have glass ones, they have these sleeves that help with like insulating and with like the um the bottle sweat. If you put like ice in it, the sleeve will help. The sleeves also have a strap so you can put it like on and make it hands-free and all that fun stuff there's also a little pocket right here to put like your airpods keys cards whatever you want while you're in the gym and clearly by all the bottles on my wall you can tell that i am obsessed with them and i love them and use them every single day so like i said um i have just come up with them it is just code amy this is the current jug of the day we have the pink candle with the iridescent white as you can see it kind of does have like an iridescent little glow to it again these sleeves are not made for the stainless steel jugs but i still like to wear them because i think they're cute um these should still both be in stock on their website if you want to go and snag it i will have a link down below so cute and it keeps your water cold all day long because it is stainless steel and insulated um the straw is right there as well so whenever you do want to take a sip of it you don't have to tilt it or anything you just like that and the straw is right there 
Also, I am washing my white tennis shoes. Every single time I put self tanner on, it like seeps through my shoe and it turns out like this. So, just gonna throw these in the wash on a cold, delicate cycle with some bleach and a towel. And um, the key to getting them as white as possible is to keep them um, when they're out of the washer to put them in the sun to dry, like in the daylight. That is how they get super duper white. So, little pro tip for you, but. I'm back to tackling, ooh, the closet. Good evening, my friends. It is now 10 o'clock at night. Can you see that? It never focuses. I'm awful at vlogging. Oh, here we go. It is like 10 o'clock at night. I forgot to bring my camera, but Nick and I went and got some pizza at our favorite pizza place. If you follow my Instagram, you saw we always go to that pizza place. If you're local to me, I highly recommend checking it out. It's called Best Pizza and Brew. It's right on Oceanside Boulevard, and they have the best pizza and really good ranch. If you can have good pizza, that's one thing, but if you can like have amazing ranch with it, that's another. So that was a hit. And then we went and got some ice cream at our favorite ice cream place, which is Handles. Handles is the freaking best as well. So that was our evening and I finally washed my hair. You guys, I lied earlier. It wasn't day nine. It was in fact day 11. So a hair wash was much needed. I'm actually about to blow dry it and probably just go to bed, hang out. It is a brand new month tomorrow and it's Monday. I love when those two things like align. It's just so fun. But this is the end of our video. I'm shocked that I remembered to record an outro. <laughs> I'm really bad at vlogging, but I try to be good at it. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any recommendations on um, closet storage and organization, please comment down below. I am horrible at organizing and it just stresses me out and I just... Uh, but like I said, I'm going to list a bunch of things on my Mercari, so click the link down below if you're interested in checking any of that out. I have a couple of loopy cases as well from my old iPhone 11, so if you have an 11 and you want a loopy case, I have a bunch of them that I'm going to be selling over there as well. And yeah, I think that is all. But I will try to be better at vlogging. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I don't know if you like these, like, kind of random day in the life, or if you want to see, like, full days of eating or more sit-down Q&A type things, but... Let me know and I will get that done, but I'm going to blow dry and go to bed. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.